Hi friends, welcome back to Playtime Learning. Today we're going to be talking about a balance scale. Do you know what a balance scale is? A balance scale is something that tells you when one side is heavier than the other. So if we put something on this side and it's heavy, this side will go down. And if we put something on this side that's heavy, then this side will go down. So we're going to try to use these numbers and these frogs to see if we can make it balanced, which means that they're both the same weight. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! So first we'll do the number one. This is a number one. So if we put it on here, this side went down because there's nothing on this side. So let's see if we can make it balanced. We'll put one frog over here and now it's balanced. Let's try with the next number. Let's try with number two. So if we put two on here, it goes down again because there's nothing on this side. Now what if we just put one frog here? It still didn't go down because one is less than two. One is smaller than two. So we need another frog. Let's add another frog. And now it's balancing out. That's great. Let's go to the next number. So now we're going to put the number three. So if we put three on here, you already know now it's going down because we don't have anything on this side. So let's put some frogs on this side. Let's see, that's one frog. That's two frogs, still not going down because two is less than three. And now let's put three frogs. And now it's balanced again. Great job. Let's go to the next number. So now let's go ahead and put the frogs first and see how many frogs we want to get to. So let's try putting, hmm, there's one frog and it already made it go down because it's heavier than this side that has no frogs. And then we put another one that's two frogs, that's three frogs. What if we put the number four on now? What side do you think is going to go down? There's a four on this side. And there are three frogs on this side. So let's put the number four on. And the four goes down because three is less than four. Three is smaller than four. So let's put another frog. And we made it balanced. Perfect. Let's keep going. Now let's put the number five. The number five. So five on this side. And now you know how many frogs do we have to put on this side to make it balance. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And it's balanced. What would happen if we put one more frog on this side? So then there are six frogs on this side. Should we try it? So now let's put a sixth frog on here. And now this side went down. Do you know why? It's because six is more than five. Six is more than five. That means six is heavier than five. So let's go ahead and change this and put the number six and see if it balances. Great. Now it balances. Let's go on to the next number. Now we're going to put the number seven. Here's the number seven. And now, how many frogs do we have to put on this side for it to be balanced? Let's see. One, two, three, four, Five, six, still not there yet, seven, and now it's balanced. Great. All right, shall we try putting another one to see what happens? If we add one more frog and make it eight, now it went down because eight is more than seven. Eight is greater than seven. So the eight frogs went down. 
Let's go ahead and pick up the number seven. And let's try putting the number eight. And now it's balanced again because eight here equals eight frogs here. Good job. This time we'll go ahead and add the frogs first. So we know the next number is nine. So let's add nine frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine frogs on the side. Now, if we put the number nine, it's balanced. Do you see how this works? This is so exciting. If we have this number equal the number of frogs, then it's balanced. Now, like we did last time, let's go ahead and add another frog. So now we have 10 frogs on this side. So this side is going down because 10 is bigger than nine. 10 is greater than nine. So the 10 frogs are pushing this weight down. Now let's go ahead and switch out the number nine. And let's put the number 10. And it's balancing. Great job, everyone. Now let's just put all of these frogs for fun on this side. What do you think will happen if we put all these frogs on this side? Do you think it'll go down? Yes. Let's see. And it does because so many frogs on this side weigh more than the number 10. I had so much fun learning about a balance scale with you. I hope you did too. And I can't wait to play with you next time. Bye.